Good morning, guys. My name is Aika, and welcome to another Life in Japan vlog. Today, we are going thrifting in Tokyo. Pudding. You're spreading on the bottom, cream, and then souffle on top. Isn't that the perfect combination? It's so yummy. It's been a while since I've gone thrifting here in Tokyo. I'm planning to go to two different areas here. First is Omotesando. I've been wanting to check out this vintage store. It's called Amore Vintage and Casanova Vintage. So they have a lot of second-hand luxury items. And then after that, we're heading to Shimokitazawa, which is a more laid-back version of Harajuku. In that area, there's a lot of affordable clothes, vintage jackets, and like more street-style clothing. finished going around Amore Tokyo. Now I'm off to Casanova Vintage. I really like the denim bag, the denim Louis Vuitton bag. I think it's really cool. I must think about it. I took a lot of videos and photos because I'm gonna send it to my family and my friends just in case they want something. They actually have two branches in the area. The one I'm in has a lot of branded clothing. Now I'm walking to their other store, which is filled with vintage bags. have a coffee break first before I go around the vintage stores here.
before we head on to the rest of the vlog, I want to show you a package that I'm super duper excited about. It's from Casetify and they're also sponsoring today's video. If you're a clumsy girl like me who's constantly dropping her phone and you're looking for a very protective phone case but still cute, of course, sis. I got you. Casetify is the world's most popular tech accessory brand. They're known for their protective phone cases and global collaborations. They recently came out with this Echo Shock technology which gives 20% more protection while still keeping the case really slim so it can easily fit your hands and your pockets. Another cool thing about Casetify is that their cases are made with recycled and plant-based materials. I have this iridescent phone case right now and I added this lucky word at the back just to remind me that I'm a lucky girl. It instantly gives me a mood boost whenever I see it. I also got a case in matte black, which is an essential. These two are both customizable, so you can put any word you like at the back. This phone case can protect up to 6.6 .6 feet drop. Let's put it to the test. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> it's still in perfect condition. It's still working. They have this artist program where they partner up with different artists to design a phone case, which is so cool because they also get to support artist communities as well. I picked this case because it has some of the places that I want to visit. These two are ultra impact cases, which can protect up to 9.8 feet drop. I don't know about you, but for me, I love having different phone cases to pick from depending on my mood or my outfit. Casetify is giving us a discount so you can treat yourself to a new phone case. Head to casetify.com slash Aika to get 15% off your order. I'm gonna have the link in the description box. <laughs> Tokyo is filled with really cool shops. Like this store used to be a public bathhouse. They have really interesting pieces. It's a mix of clothing, accessories, both for men and women. There's also a lot of cafes and restaurants around. Like, look at this pancake shop. Japanese restaurants have really delicious souffle pancakes. Next stop is Flamingo. They have a lot of retro pieces, both for men and women. They actually have two stores here in Shimokitazawa. If you're a fan of streetwear, you have to check out this shop. I love how the clothes are all organized by color and style. They also have a lot of jackets like the North Face puffer jackets. Race car jackets, sweaters and all that. Got no money, I got no right. Think I got lost in your flawless eyes. And now I'm wasting. In the next flamingo store, I found this baby blue fluffy jacket. I thought it might look good on me, but it kind of looks like a blanket or like a fluffy Girls towel like on. So you thought that I'd learn by now, but it's a four year old kid still talking. But what we still talking? but I already have a lot of black leather jackets. <laughs> like, I don't need it, but I want it. 6,800 yen. I'm now in Shibuya. I have to go to Don Quixote just to buy some essentials because I need some lotion, face mask, and some random stuff that <laughs> I want to try out.
go home a bit early, but I didn't end up going home early because I passed by Donkey and whenever I'm in Donkey, I always end up spending a lot of time there because I have to like go around to look for the things I need. And it's such a big place. I am so sad I didn't get to buy anything from the thrift stores. I was expecting to at least find something like a jacket. When it comes to buying clothes, I'm more mindful of the things that I like and the things that I don't really want. Which is so different from how I was like last year. Because last year, I would just buy anything as long as it's cute. But now, I really think twice before buying something. Like, I make sure that I really want that piece in my wardrobe. I did get one thing from Shimokitazawa. And I've been wanting something like this, so I'm really happy I found it. I also got this from Donkey. It's a face mask for nighttime, and yeah, my skin's been a bit dry the past few days. It just needs a little pick me up because I've been really stressed the past few days. Like, I can't sleep properly, so yeah, my skin's suffering a bit. I'm gonna put this in the fridge so it's cold when I use it. You found fave. This is so delicious. If you go to Japan, please try out Family Mart desserts. Honestly, I didn't expect this to be this delicious. It's so affordable. It's only 210 yen. 